Radio buttons allow the user to select one option from a set. You should use radio buttons for optional sets that are mutually exclusive if you think that the user need to say, see all available options side by side. If it is not necessary to show all options side by side, then use the spinner instead. We will talk about the spinner in the next videos. So to create a radio button option, we just start by creating a radio button group, and then we add the radio button to this group, okay? By grouping them together, the system ensures that only one radio button can be selected at that time. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. And we will talk about responding to click events by defining the radio button first. Okay, so let's start by creating a radio group here. Or you can drag and drop if you go to the buttons here. Drag and drop radio, radio group and then you can add radio buttons to it. Let me show you with the codes here. Now, the radio group would be match parent as width, height wrap content, the ID ID would be radio group and orientation vertical. You can check and change the orientation. Inside this radio group, I will infer it. It's constraint by clicking this infer constraint. Okay, so it will have been adding the constraints. Uh, wrap content, I will, it's good till now. You can change it, uh, uh, changes as match per. Okay, so start by adding radio button, the wrap content, wrap content, the text would be, text would be like cheese. Um, uh, ID would be cheese, cheese, cheese. Okay, good. Cheese radio button. Okay. And on click, I can add the method that I am going to check. So on radio button clicked. This is the method that I'm going to create in Java. So this is the first radio button. Okay. Let me add this constraint to here. Okay. If I copy and paste this, it would be great because we are adding the radio button inside the radio group. Also, I will copy another one, paste it here, cheese. I can add me a meat or like chicken. Okay. Chick and here meet okay they are referring all for a method on a radio button clicked so the radio group is a subclass of a linear layout that has vertical orientation by default you see that they are uh, that they are enlisted and ordered in a vertical manner like exactly like a linear layout because it's a subclass of a linear layout now Let's go with the activity here, our main activity, and start defining the checkboxes. 
uh, or sorry the radio button we start by radio group radio group group equal to find view by id r dot group grp i have named it as radio grp now radio button equal r1 equal find view by id r dot id dot cheese the first one is a cheese the second one the second one is meat and the third one is chick okay now let's create our method public void on radio button clicked we pass the view as i told you in the previous video and it is public and its returning type would be void okay now is the button now checked boolean checked equal to we cast it to radio button and we cast the view and we pass is a, we call the is checked method we are storing this boolean expression inside this boolean variable and to tell if it is a, a checked or not now check which radio button is or was clicked we start by switch view dot get id and we pass case we create a case here case r dot id dot if it is selecting a cheese then if clicked or if checked what to do toast this cheese burger otherwise it will break if the user only has an option to select one of these cheeseburger meat burger or chicken burger send then use this radio button case number two case R dot ID dot meet if checked I will do the same copy and pasting then ordinary meat burger and this is preferable for me <laughs> yes guys so ID check here chicken and here would be chicken burger okay this is how we we specify the on click and handle the on click for the radio button now let's run and see our app if you need to change the radio button state yourself you can use the set checked method or toggle method like here r1 dot uh, set checked to true for example okay let's see our app if we select a cheese you see cheeseburger meat burger you see that there is no multiple multiple um, a choice only one choice okay so this is a set a group that you should select only one option from this this is the chicken burger mean so you see guys how we have grouped these radio buttons and we have allowed the user to select only one 